Here are some Vim plugins that you can use to get some work done, like some serious work done. However, the first thing you gotta do is grab a plugin, a Vim plugin manager. The one I like to use is Vim plug. It even works with NeoVim if you're that person. Let's go ahead and install Vim plug, which it does the good old curl GitHub link, which is very secure. <laughs> Don't curl random GitHub links. Let's go curl the link. There we go, we just grabbed the Vim plug. So, how do you do it? So, we need to open up our Vim RC, which do use NVim, but you should use Vim, so Vim RC. And there we go. So, let's do a call. Even. Oh, 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 plug and and that's how you set it up to work. And so I'm gonna check, see if it works. Do vim uh, do plug install of course no plugins install but now i'm going to go over the plugins that i highly recommend the first one is vim unix as you got a whole bunch of different operations to do unix things one of the most important ones would be sudo write and sudo edit which allows you to edit and write files that have that requires pseudo privileges. You can even change permissions, and delete files, find files. So how we install it is take this link, this part of the Git repository, and then following this syntax, do a plug, and then paste that. And then, if this works, then that means do a plug install. And we've done it. Installed Vim plug, or we installed Vim Unix. Now, the second plugin is Syntastic. It does increase syntax highlighting for Vim, because Vim does have it baked in. However, it's not all languages have it, which there's additional packages that work with Syntastic to add it. So there's all sorts of information, so let's see. So they want these recommend settings, so let's add them. Let's put them there. And then let's do a bug. And then we'll, we'll install it later, but on the next one is Vim Fugitive, which is another one by Tipo, which I highly recommend just checking out all of his Vim plugs because there's tons of them. So it allows you to do Git operations from within Vim, but we're just going to add it for now and go on to the next one. It is light line, or light line, which is a configurable status line, tab line plugin. There's one baked in the Vim, but no one uses it. There's other ones, but this one is much easier to use and or simpler as right here specifies. And then it, exp and it also goes on to explain how to install it, which we already know how to do it. It doesn't really matter. Next one is Vim Axokinase, which allows you to see RGB values and from within by either by a number of different means, by either putting a little block next to the color code, putting it in the gutter or sidebar, whatever you call it, next to it, 
text, highlighting it, highlighting the whole thing. There's all sorts of different ways to do it. However, there's one thing you need to notice about Hexokinase is you need to first install Go, which you would go in your package manager, probably be Golang or something else, but and yeah, see it's special this is do make Hexokinase because it has to compile it. This one is more optional, but it gives you smooth scrolling in Vim, and it allows you to very easily move within Vim and know where you are, because random, because even though maybe faster without an animation, sometimes you just don't know where you end up, and this helps to give you a sense of where you are. Then the next plugin is more for those Colmac users out there. I know they exist. And this is for your generic Colmac layout, where it goes on to explain all the different layout changes. But we're going to use a fork of it because the keyboard that the layout is used is Colmac DH, and this does the same thing. So just go copy that and put it in there, and let's go. So now we go back to Vim. Oh. There we go, we've gotten all plugins going, and so if we do a Vim, looks like the status bar doesn't want to show up. I'll figure out how to get that in a second. So the reason why it wasn't running is because we need this setting here at the top. So now if we do a Vim, 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 or C. It should be showing. Well, I couldn't figure out how to fix it, but it should hopefully work. And if you do some digging, you can probably get it working as well. And then for this one, you probably want to put this in here if you're messing with key bindings. And that was. DVM plugins that I highly recommend for getting work done. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other videos. Just recommend to your friends. And have a good day. Minix out. Bye.